is Chagai Reiner from Israel. I'm a father of four children. Um, three of my children are special needs. And this is a story about my eldest, which has autism, ADHD, and epilepsy. And he had stem cell therapy uh, in Swiss Medica about two years ago. Now, this child has a very hard uh, type of epilepsy. He had about 10 seizures a day of different types, absence, myoclonic, tonic-clonic every once in a while, once a week, once a month. Um, he would end up in the emergency room in the hospital uh, about once a, uh, once a month. He would miss out on school um, and he would take different types of medications. We tried Depilet, uh, Capra, uh, we even tried thing, alternative uh, treatment methods like ketogenic diet or uh, cannabis and no success, nothing worked for him. Uh, we were told by one neurologist that he's probably not going to survive to reach the age of six. Um, this was when he was five years old he had a seizure while playing in school on a slide and he fell and hit his head. So we took him straight to the hospital. Uh, the neurologist said there isn't really anything new to try, but if he survives to the age of six, we can start talking about implanting a pacemaker. Now, so we were very afraid. We were starting to look into how to get stem cell therapy because we read about this research being done in the US that helps autistic children become more communicational, even verbal. And he wasn't, he wasn't verbal at all. He had a bit, very big vocabulary of uh, numbers and ABCs, but he wasn't speaking. He didn't say mommy or daddy. He couldn't say I want. Anything that's communicational wasn't interesting for him or he, just didn't understand how to, to use this type of language. So we went to Swiss Medica in March 2019. Uh, we got an IV injection of MSC derived from placenta. And within two weeks, the most amazing thing happened. We were just expecting for his communication to increase so he can tell us maybe he feels bad or he feels an aura coming up. What we got was no more seizures. We could, didn't see seizures at all since the, the treatment. So within two weeks, we were sure there weren't any seizures. From 10 seizures a day to zero. We went to the neurologist. She said, I don't believe it. Get an EEG done. We went to do the EEG and it was clear. She was still very skeptical. So she told us to get another one three months later. We did another one three months later and it was clear too. So then she allowed us to slowly go off of medication. So for about a year and a half now, a little more, he's no longer an epilepsy medication. He hasn't had any seizures since. We're going to get an EEG again soon to make sure. But since that treatment, his EEGs are clear all the time and he doesn't use medication anymore. Now, he's also been having a lot of gains in communication, verbal. He's saying mommy and daddy now. He's saying I want this and I want that. Please can I have all these communication languages he's using complex sentences, he's improving in understanding of concepts that he liked before, like math and reading, but he's doing them in independently and together with us. He's listening to instructions. He can do simple instructions like, give me that. Or he repeats after you when, he, when you want him to use polite language. So he'll say please if you ask him to say please. Now, another additional um, effect of the stem cell therapy is his connection with the siblings. He makes communication with his parents, with his teacher, but also with his siblings. 
He used to bite and hit and push them all the time to make them go away. Now he asks his sister to come and play with him. He plays along his brother, which also has autism, and he doesn't fight anymore. No more biting, no more pushing. He's been progressing with, he's been weaned off diapers, he's been weaned off bottles. He's eating. He used to eat just pediasure, uh, chocolate milk with nutrients in it, made out of a formula. This was the only thing that was keeping him moving. He wouldn't eat nearly anything. And now he's our most curious child. He will try new foods while our uh, neurotypical child or other autistic child won't touch these things. He will be willing to try uh, to eat stuff that he hasn't eaten before, but he eats a lot more than he used to. Solid foods, he doesn't drink chocolate milk anymore. It's just not part of his, doesn't need to be part of his diet anymore. This is our story. My son has gone to stem cell therapy uh, two years ago. A Swiss Medica suggested that he have additional treatments. So we did two so far and we're planning on more. We want to go back in the future uh, for the five suggested therapies. And we've been talking about this with people that we know, uh, other parents that have seen uh, our child in the school progressing went as a result of our uh, uh, gains, of, of my son's gains in school. Uh, so we have uh, four other children that went from his school to the same place and they are showing great results. And we've chosen to start talking about this openly. We were writing a blog about this, uh, autismessentialsisrael.com. And you can follow us on Facebook and we're translating the, the uh, materials that we write in Hebrew into English to make it easier for everybody to uh, gain access to this information. And it's just something that anybody that has autism, that has epilepsy, uh, CP, any neurological issues should look into to see if this is something that can work for you or your child. Thank you.